I recently asked a simple question on Facebook. The question was, option one, buy a welder to make simple bumpers with a winch but keep the stock tires and wheels. Or, option two, buy better tires and wheels but no welder, keep the stock bumpers and no winch. So after reading the comments of that post, I decided that a lot of people were confused and I have no one to blame but myself. So. Let's clear some things up. Number one, no, I'm not broke and I'm not eating ramen noodles to survive. Bleepin' Jeep is doing well. The purpose of the cheap Jeep was to set a low budget and not go over that budget. I'm sure you guys have all seen the shows where you have to show up with a vehicle under a certain budget and go from there. That's what I was trying to do. Why? Because that's what you guys have asked for. A lot of my viewers are people that don't have a lot of money lying around Maybe they're high schoolers, maybe they're college students, and they're just on a tight budget. So the cheap cheap was meant to be just that. Very, very cheap. Number two. Yes, I do already have a welder of my own. The reason that I was going to use part of the budget to buy a $500 welder was to show that even if you're on a tight budget, you can still afford to buy a welder. Why was that my plan? Because I get a lot of comments from the viewers a lot of the time that say, I love what you do, but I don't have the money to go out and buy the tools that you're using. So that's why I wanted to incorporate the price of the welder into the budget to show that, yes, yeah, you can. But some commenters wrote in and said that you shouldn't factor the price of your tools into the budget. And maybe you're right. I have a lot of other tools that I use, like wrenches and impacts and a compressor, all these other tools that I haven't factored into the budget. So should I have factored the welder into the budget? Maybe not. Number three, but I have a lot of other tools too, like plasma cutters, um, a welding table, a horizontal bandsaw, a torch and on and on. My goal though for the Cheap Jeep project was not to use most of those tools to show that you can do it with regular tools that a regular guy has just lying around in his garage. Technically I could break out all the fancy tools and make my own components like tie rods, drag links, um, track bars, and control arms. I could make all those from scratch. But then that defeats the purpose of the Cheap Jeep project and that is to build a Jeep that anybody can afford and they can do it in their garage or driveway at home. So this leads me to the final question, which is, should I have incorporated the welder into the budget? And if not, should I be able to use the welder that I already have? So I'm going to add another option to the original question, and then I'm gonna make a poll, and I'm gonna leave the link to that poll below. Leave your comments below, of course, but those comments aren't going to count. It's only going to count when you answer the poll. So that's what I'm going to base my decision off of. I'm looking forward to your feedback and we'll see you next time.